going on Uplanders? Hope you all have an amazing day today. In this video, I'm going to be going over the weekly news, little bits and pieces that have been going on in the Upland Metaverse, a little bit of my gameplay and how things are traveling, and everything else you need to know that's been going on, sort of. All right, so I've been super busy lately. Um, actually got my own room now in my house for a Metaverse, uh, for a, not a Metaverse, a podcast room to do this full time. Um, I've actually, I've even got, look, I've even bought cool pink lights, so I look like a real streamer, how cool is that? And um, I've actually got a friend over who's studying economics in the metaverse in Harvard at the moment, and he's a friend of mine in Brisbane, and when he gets back, um, which isn't be too long, we're going to do sort of more weekly chats about the economics of all this as well, um, sort of thing, so that's super exciting, so I'm sort of in the process of putting together... Um, like some more structure with all this sort of stuff and how it's all going to be going um, in the future. So, um, got the room, got the lights, we've got the couches coming, we've got all the cool stuff, and it'll be still be very, very similar to what I've been doing, just more structured and not just me rambling, which is pretty much what this video is going to be. And with any luck, hopefully, what I'd personally love is to be able to be like at six o'clock on Tuesday, there'll be a video, and everyone knows that on that day there's a video on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever the days are, sort of thing. So just creating a bit more structure with it all. So setting all that up has been a pain and a punish, but we're getting there, we're getting there. All right. So um, a lot of stuff's actually been happening in Upland. I've just sort of, I didn't think anything had been going on, and then I like sort of clicked on the events page and was like, oh shit, like everything's been going on. So um, <laughs> I clicked on here, I was like, whoa, like five things have happened. I knew the expansion was happening. Let me know how that went if you did it. I wasn't a part of it. I was did pretty well in um, Rio. So I, I think I went into Rio with about 2,100 and some, about a couple, maybe 2,100. I think I've made about 200,000 UPEX out of there. So and I've still got a handful of properties and collections filled, so pretty happy with how Brazil went. Um, one of the things that I just wanted to mention is, so this is kicking off now, so the the community governance, which is essentially you can set your own home addresses, which I think is pretty damn cool, I think. Um, I've wanted this to sort of be a thing for a while, but I need to ask you guys a question now. Personally, so obviously I, I want to set this, actually just before I do ask you guys a question, I would never um, expect or anyone or to help out at all, and I know I give away Spark quite regularly, but it's, I never do it so I can get it back, but if you do have a little spare you want to chuck on this bad boy for a little bit, I just started it and I forgot how long apartment buildings take, I started it and went, oh, so it's um, 3,600 W Bonzada, Bonza? Bonanza, <laughs> Bonanza, <laughs> Bonanza Road, which is pretty cool. Um, cool name, three sixty Bonanza Road. That's awesome. Um, and yeah, so it's a cool little spot here. I've got in Twin Lakes in um, in Las Vegas, and uh, yeah, I own another one there too. But um, I sort of want to build this up into a little bit of a holiday, uh, sort of like a holiday strip, you know, in in Vegas, sort of thing, with all the high rides along here. And that just gets to me a question I did want to ask you guys, speaking about building up the community, because I'd love, I want Vegas to be my home. Um, in game communication, when is that going down? Because I swear they said Q2 or Q3, and I had a look on the calendar and I can't see anything about it now, so I don't know if they deleted it, but to me, that's a huge part of the metaverse in general is, well, if I see someone cruising by, I should be able to just chat to them. You know what I mean? That's sort of what the metaverse is more than anything. Like, to me, the metaverse is more that than properties and in game currencies and all that. The actual metaverse part is, to me, is the in game communication, like players interacting in there. Like, if I want to talk to this guy and be like, hey, bro, let's build a strip of hotels along here, I have to, like, find his name. Hopefully, he's in Discord. Hopefully, he's active. You know what I mean? It's a thing. So, I don't like that, like, at all. You know what I mean? And to me, the Upland sort of isn't a metaverse. It is, but it isn't a metaverse until we can do that. Like, until we can chat in the game, whether it's, like, mic or just typing, or even if it's just, like, sending inboxes, we need in-game chat. Like, they, we can't. This Discord thing's got to go. It's got to go. Um, yeah, until then, it's just Monopoly at the moment. So, um, 
you know, it has the framework to be a metaverse, but if we can't chat in the game, I don't get it. So, obviously, you know, I want to build up this, and like like I said, it'd be cool to have, you know, people we chat with regularly. Imagine if we all own a strip here, we could all hang out, we could all race our cars along the street, we could chat about whatever in the game, and just do all that sort of stuff and bring the community together, you know, sort of thing. Because I've got heaps of people I chat with randomly, but it's just a random chat. Like, I might be have a friend on Twitter and a friend that's found me on Facebook and a friend that's found me on Instagram. You know what I mean? And we're sort of... Whereas we should be all to all meet up in the game. Like, that's literally the point of a metaverse. So when is that happening? And, um, yeah, sorry for my little ramble there. I just, you know, like... Oh, I don't really get it, but anyway. But, yeah, that's the... Uh, the um, that's the... Um, that's the address right there, 3,600 Bananza Road. So if you do have a little bit, like I said, I'd never expect anyone to. But if anyone does, and then, like, if you do drop some spark on this and then you need some help with yours down track, you message me, hopefully in-game, and I'll drop some spark on you um, sort of thing. So, um, all right, let's keep going. All right, so just speaking of spark, it is spark week. Well, it's about to be spark week, so make sure you... Um, make sure you are leveling up if you are um, able to, but don't do it obviously till the 15th. It's the 13th now, so we've got a couple days. So just anyone that doesn't know what leveling up is, um, obviously we all have bars along here, and once we get to this full, we can upload up to like a chief executive or from a pro to a director or whatever it may be. It is so hard to not do it. Like when you have the when it says upgrade now, you're like yeah. I have this pathological thing in games where I like have to level up straight away. I don't know why, but I just have a really hard time not clicking that button. And I'm not going to lie, one of them I didn't do it on Spark Week. I was just like, I'm just going to do it now. <laughs> so, oh, dickhead. <laughs> but um, just looking over this quickly, it looks very standard. So you obviously, as you upgrade, I was just talking about, so from Visitor Uplander 0.06, Uplander to Pro 0.25, so if you're going for a pro to a director, if you don't, you know what I mean, you're getting like over half a spark, which if we have a look here, um, you know, half a spark's worth 250 bucks. So you got to make sure you do it. Um, it's, and you're getting more than half a spark, you're getting 0.6. So um, you have to make sure you're doing this at the right time, guys. So never upgrade until it's spark week. And if you're going director to executive, which is what my next upgrade will be, yeah, 1.2 spark. So hopefully I can do that. Um, hopefully we can do that before the end of the year. Hopefully we'll say we're, we're not. We're pretty far off. Um, I've only just ticked over two million, I think. So I've got to get to 10 million. Um, so what, quarter of the way roughly? So we'll see if we can knock that off before the end of the year, hey? If I don't keep giving away properties and stuff, maybe <laughs> giving away my spark. Uh, no, I don't care. I'm, I'm not doing this to to um, like get rich or make money or anything i'm just having fun um all right so what else we got so yeah so this is really cool so the actual home governance um thing so you can set your own home address um i love this i think it's really cool um so just so you're eligible obviously you can only have one one address um you must be upland status or higher you must have done your kyc so that's your verification um Home address must have residential structure with living units, so you can't have factories and stuff like that. Which is sort of weird. I mean, Elon Musk lived in his factory; should be able to. Um, and home addresses can't be swapped for listed for sale, so that's um, pretty interesting as well. So obviously, you can't have your property for sale when it's your home property, but that's pretty cool, I guess. L less properties for sale, hopefully. There's too many as it is. Uh, and if you get this done, you obviously you actually get a. A cool profile pic as well um, sent to you which you can use as your um, profile picture for your discord or something like that um, there's also new properties for sale too um, that you can build on their little micro home speaking of Elon Musk he lives in a tiny home um, which is pretty cool so I actually love these man like these are really really cool so there's obviously some pretty small um, small lands in in our plan sort of thing so it's pretty cool that there's um some prop uh, building that will fit them now um man i actually in real life want to move into a tiny home like i i live in a big house and i hate it like everyone i've wanted to live into a big house but now i've moved in i'm like this sucks like two kitchens two living rooms six bedrooms four bathrooms it's just so much shit to clean i'm like i just do not want this anymore like i hate it man absolutely hate it it's always messy because you you start you clean one side of the house and then the other side's dirty it's just 
oh, absolutely hate it. I just, yeah, I've been actually been looking at tiny homes on YouTube going, I want to move into one. So, um, yeah, so this is really, really cool. So good stuff from the Upland team. I think it's a really good initiative. On to cars, beep, beep, MV Motor Sale is here. It's actually live now. It's going down. Um, so if you want to do this, go into Upland, obviously click Get Upex up the top right-hand side. Click Special, and you can register here. So look how expensive some of these are. So I've registered for the truck. Not interested in these. They're too expensive like for me for the first time. Um, Eight, like 840,000 up I know it's not a ridiculous amount but that's 850 bucks and I've got this thing where I'm just like I'm not sold that these are gonna go up in value or I don't know they should I mean they should like if there's some utility that I know is gonna come with them maybe I don't know I don't know but just like getting down to race on the track first doesn't really like maybe oh, I have to do this and it's 850 dollars you know so I'm like meh yeah, we'll see, but I registered for a truck because I think a truck would be cool. It's only half half that price sort of thing. Um, they've also got these weird little, what are they, like little minivan things. It's like a RAV4, but the truck's dope. That's like Optimus Prime so, um, sort of thing. So I reckon the truck's dope. So um, I don't know if it's, yeah, um, so I don't know if there's going to be any utility for that. I'm pretty sure you can race the trucks, can't you? But, um, but yeah, I just registered one for, for shites and gigs and we'll see how he goes. But the other ones I'm not that interested in. These I'm just I sort of gross. I like the sports cars, but I just don't drop 850. I'm sort of like, I'm funny, like in real life too, I can't buy brand new cars anymore. Like, I grew up poor, so like, my goal of mine in life was to like drive a car off the showroom floor. Like, I was like, I want to do that before I'm 30. And I was probably like 27 when I did it. And I was like... I thought it was so cool. It was the best feeling. I was like, yeah. You know, how you have the bow. It was a Mercedes. I was like, yeah. Got the bow off. And I was, like, I was like, yeah. And then I like drove it off. And then I like, I looked up how much money I lost just driving it off. And I'm like, oh, wow. I literally just lost like $10,000 for driving it off. So I was like, that was dope. But I'm never doing that again. So like, I'm sort of feeling that like with this. I'm like, how do I know that these $850,000 cars aren't going to be like 500000 soon? You know what I mean? Like, what if, what if this guy buys it? He goes, "Oh, this is sort of, you know, crap. I don't want to own. Not crap, but like, I want to buy properties rather than just drive, driving a racetrack. You know what I mean? I want to, and I've got all my money tied up in this. And he wants to sell. You know, who's to say I can't pick it up for seven hundred or something? So that's sort of where I'm at with it. Um, yeah. So I'm just sort of, I'm just with the car thing. I'm just like. Even though I sort of like I'm doing YouTube on the thing, I should, on like on the game, I should probably like be involved with all the new stuff as soon as it comes out. With this one, I'm just like I'm cool to hang back eh, and just wait a minute. And um, I'd love to hear with what you guys are doing though, whether you guys are doing the same thing. But the few people I've spoken to are just like, nah, we're waiting, we'll wait. Um, so yeah, but interesting. But man, I can tell you what though, man, like, they've done it. Like they look so sick, like. Uh, here's all the prices here guys um yeah so the yeah the one thing i don't think upland have done super well with people that sort of an, like um like i hate to use them as an example but like the board out your when people anyone that holds like some of the stuff usually gets bonuses in other ways like they'll get you know they when they did an airdrop for their ape coin they got like bonuses so like if I knew I was going to get something, I'd probably do it. But, like, just being able to race the Alpha Track first doesn't really get me going. I'm like, you know, if I was, I don't know. If it just meant, I don't know. If there was, if they gave me something else, I'd be like, yeah, let's do this thing. But just being able to race and then possibly the car might not go up in value either. I'm like, nee, can't do it. But don't, man. And anyone that's getting involved, like, keep me in the loop because I want to know how it's all going. And I definitely want to get into the racing at some point in time. Um, and that's pretty much it guys I've been rambling long enough but yeah so if anyone does have any spark that would be great but like I said I don't do this for that and I completely understand if you need all your spark for yourself um, the other thing was too guys there's heaps of cheap properties way below mint price and this is what I mean I'd rather spend my money on this shit because I know that like, I know like I'm gonna get a yield on these they're gonna go up. It's Los Angeles. Like I can pick up, pick, pick up properties in Las Vegas, in Los Angeles for half of what they're minted for. You know what I'm saying? Like I'd rather spend my money on that than um, 
then um, yeah and then we've got Las Vegas as well like look at these 65% below mint it's crazy but yeah so um, crazy times here guys but yeah that's uh, that's pretty much it I was just literally checking in with you guys seeing how everything's going um, doing a little upland check in just and just going roughly over the news sort of thing I just felt like I hadn't done a video for you guys for a while. I don't even three days I checked I was like oh it's only three days ago I uploaded but um, it just feels like a really long time for some reason um, so yeah <sighs> thank you all so much for watching and listening to my disgusting rambling for 10 minutes and I'll see you in the next one